Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and today 19 of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. I have a couple of things out today. I did get a 19 out, but then I forgot that I had this set of alphabet and I really like the whimsical numbers. So we might use those today. So let's go ahead and put this down. Um, actually, let me take a little bit off of here because I have a little bit more than I need. And I'll show you the postcard that I'm actually working with. We'll put that stamp over here. So this is the postcard and I think I want to do it this way. I'm going to cover up that huge white space. Um, it was... I don't remember how I did this one. I did it with, I was trying something and I ended up putting, I think, two sheets down on the jelly plate by accident. I picked up two instead of just one. And anyway, I ended up with this weird, great big splotch. So I'm just going to cover that up with another jelly print. There we go. And then I think I'm going to take my, I have a, a great big one here. This is an old glue stick that is done for. And let's use some dark color. I have here Lost Lagoon from Stampin' Up. I like the Stampin' Up! inks, but I can never get them open. Oh my glory, I always feel like I'm going to break it. Okay, putting more ink down than that. There we go. Let's pull some of these circles over. Okay. Let's put one right on there. And then I'm going to use, I got another glue stick piece here. My other uh, round things are elsewhere, so we're going to use the glue stick tops for now. And I like overlapping circles. Do I know where I'm going to put my 19 yet? No, not even a clue. Okay, so those are two glue sticks now that definitely need dealing with. All right, I'm going to close you up before I stick my fingers in you. I already have glue stuck to me. All right. Trying to get that to dry up a little bit. So we're doing flowers. That didn't quite stick as well as I'd like it to, so let me add a little bit more glue. Right there. There. Now it's stuck. So we're doing flowers, but I think I want something a little bit more, I don't know, more in keeping with this. I haven't even opened this up. This is tape shot. I got it from a thrift store a while back, and I haven't even, I haven't used it at all, obviously. So let's pull that out of there. And I want the one, come on. Oh my glory, they're still stuck together. I mean, they haven't even been pulled apart yet. So there's the one. And the nine. Aren't those cool? I think those are just really neat letters. Very uh, kind of, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out exactly how we're going to do with those in a minute. But I definitely want a darker color than, the, the, than what I currently have on here. All right, let's find some like psychedelic colors. Put that up there. 
I have these flowers, but I think what I'd like to see if I can't find something a little bit more. Um, I don't know that I have anything really modern. These have white around them. Okay, those are a possibility. These are from Current. What would be really cool is if I had some like 1960s. Ooh, ooh. And some 1970s. Oh, they're all purpley though. They don't match my colors at all. Nope. Not on those. All right. It was a good thought, but it's the wrong stuff. Okay, what else do I have here? I have these. Nope. Okay. So obviously I have a lot from Current Magazine. I, I bought a bunch. And, um, oh, what is this? What are these? So we could put, like, something like that here. I, I really want the orientation this way. I could do the orientation this way. No, I really like it this way. So I could do that. That's a little bit more vintagey, but I kind of like the. Okay, I know what we're doing here. We got this. We got this. We're going to juxtapose. Juxta, juxtaposition. There we go. There's the word. Took a bit to come out, but I found it. You might try to hide inside my brain, but I found it. Okay. I'm going to put this up here. It says airmail on it. I think it's going to be easier if I do it this way. Bring you right up to the edge. And because this is a stickery washy kind of thing, we're going to put it on the washy. Piece here, nice big one, right smack dab in the middle. There we go. Now that didn't quite come. Oh, actually, it did come out much more even than you think it did, because I have a piece here that is kind of hanging off this edge. There, that's yeah. That came actually did come out even. All right. So we have this. And I have, I mean, I could put that down. Do I have another one of those? Hang on, let me find some more of that. Uh, what else do I have in here? None of this looks like it's, oh, wait, wait, wait. You know, we're just kind of playing. We are just creating today, right? When you don't have what you want, you make do with what you got. This is stamped on tracing paper, so it's not going to disappear. It, it, you're definitely going to see the tracing paper. There we go. I'm okay with that. I wonder if I have that in the great big green ones. That's, I don't want those. I kind of like the music instead. So you have a juxtaposition of the old and the new. Do I want to frame that up? Let's see if I've got any on my 
Yeah, there's enough ink left in that to give me just a little bit of color around the outside. I don't want too much, just a little bit. There we go. Put a little bit of music right up there. I know, covering up the circle that I just stuck up there. And then my whimsical 19 that I think I want to do in pine needles. I've been using that pine needles a lot lately. Let's see how this looks before I stamp it on there. Let me see what it looks like. Okay, I like it. Try not to get it all over everything. One. Nineteen. There we go. I like this guy. I think he came out quite nicely. So there we go. Day 19 of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. All set. Yeah. I like it. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.